Now, in this video, let us learn about whole numbers. And under whole numbers, we are going to learn about what is whole numbers. And then, let us learn about number line. and we are gonna learn and we are gonna learn about properties of whole numbers of whole numbers now before we get into whole numbers let us learn few basics now in this basics let's learn about natural numbers So, what are natural numbers? Uh, you might have known the basic numbers what we use. The number we use starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 and it keeps going on. These are called natural numbers and they are called natural numbers because we use them naturally for counting. Now, we are gonna learn what are called whole numbers. Whole numbers are nothing but the numbers that starts from 0 and then continues with 1, 2, 3, 4. So now, what is the definition of whole number tells? A whole number means the collection of all natural numbers with zero forms whole numbers so this is what whole numbers means let's recall whole numbers means collection of all natural numbers with zero that is so the whole number means is zero and the natural numbers so that is zero one two three four and those are called natural numbers so now let us learn about predecessor and successor so and successor these terms are like opposite to each other predecessor is opposite to successor so now let us see what these means now let's take a number for example which is 98 so first learn what is a successor a successor means when you add one to any natural number or whole number you get the successor of that number in this case we have taken 98 and you add 1 to 98 the successor of 98 will be 99 and this term is called successor and now let's see what does predecessor means now uh, take a number for example 72 and when you subtract 1 to it the number you get is 71 and this is called the predecessor of other uh, number so what does predecessor means predecessor means when you subtract 1 to a given whole number or natural number the number you get is a predecessor and successor means when a number is given to you and when you add 1 to it the number you get is the successor of that number now these concepts has to be put together and a number line will be formed so let's see what number line means and how do you use number line so let's start with number line So how does a number line look and what is a number line? Number line is nothing but a straight line and to this straight line you have to divide the given straight line you drew into number of segments like for example this number line let me start with 0 this is the initial number of number line 
and you continue on segmenting the given number line like this 1 2 3 4 and this continues so on up to infinity and now the distance between these two is called unit distance or also known as interval and unit distance means one because you compare it with one successor of a number now like for example the unit distance between 0 to 1 is 1 and if you have to find the distance between uh, a number like 2 to 4 this distance will be 1 and 2 that is 2 unit distance that is this unit distance plus this unit distance you get 2 so the distance from 2 to 4 is 2 now let's get into the concept of using number line now you know how to draw a number line now can you add numbers using number line yes you can do all basic operations with number line for example first start with addition of two numbers addition of two numbers let's take a number for example 4 plus 3 how would you add 4 plus 3 in a number line now for that first draw a number line and divide it into the segments as shown now how do you perform addition in this is like take the first number and find where the first number is in the number line now in this case 4 so 4 lies here 4 now you will have to add 3 to 4 to add 3 to 4 from 4 you will have to take 3 unit distance that is 1 2 and 3 and whatever you get here is your answer for the given addition now let us consider another example let's add the number 3 plus 5 now the method remains same find where 3 lies the number line 3 lies here and you will have to add 5 unit places to the number line that is 1 2 3 4 5 the cross check it 1 2 3 4 5 and the answer you get at the end is your answer for the given addition and in this case it's it so addition can be performed by first finding out a number where they lie in number line and adding how much hour they are given to it and you get the answer for your given addition now let us perform subtraction so how would you subtract two numbers on a number line that will be a question now let's take the number for example 7 minus 5 how would you subtract using number line now the method for addition and subtraction remains same that is the first step that is you have to find out where the number 7 lies in this number line 7 lies here and in subtraction in and in addition you added numbers and going but in subtraction you will have to minus the unit places like for example in addition you went in this direction but for subtraction you go in the opposite direction so let's take it 7 minus 5 so you have to subtract 5 unit places from the number line so 1 2 3 4 5 and the answer here gives you the answer for your question that is 2 so 7 minus 5 is 2 and now let's see multiplication so let's take for an example how do you multiply 3 into 2 in a number line now 3 i in this case has to be considered as a unit distance that is a unit distance of 3 has to be repeated two times let's see how do you do it now as i said unit distance 3 that is 1 2 3 this is one unit distance and again this has to be repeated again so 1 2 3 so the answer that is given after the second interval is your answer for this case now what multiplication in number line has to be done is in the same way that is the given number has to be multiplied to how many of numbers 
that is required to get the answer in a number line now let's see a similar example how do you multiply 2 3 times so the unit distance here has to be considered as 2 so that is 1 2 this is one unit distance and the same has to be repeated 3 times so that is 1 2 this is the second time and again 1 2 and this is the third time and the answer you get is your answer for multiplication of the given term now that we have discussed about the use of number lines now let us discuss about the properties of whole numbers so what is the first property we are going to learn today the first property is called closure property that is closure property so let us now see what is closure property means now for proven closure property let us take two examples let's take two numbers that is 2 and 7 you might notice that both 2 and 7 are whole numbers now what will happen if you add these two numbers that is 2 plus 7 will give you 9 now let's take another example of another two whole numbers that is 3 and 10 now when you add 3 and 10 you get 13 now you can see that these two numbers are also whole numbers so when you add two whole numbers the number you get is also whole number now let us see the same for multiplication how it will happen if you multiply 2 and 7 so 2 into 7 would give you 14 which is also a whole number similarly what will happen if you multiply 3 into 10 3 into 10 will give you 30 even this is a whole number now even if you consider this that is 7 plus 0 now 7 plus 0 will give you 7 0 is a whole number and 7 is a whole number so 7 plus 0 will give you 7 now what will happen if you multiply 7 and 0 so 7 into 0 will give you 0 so multiplication of a whole number will also give you a whole number so that is what the closure property tells so what does closure property mean closure property so closure property means when two whole numbers are added or multiplied you get a whole number now you have to notice that I have mentioned it only for addition and multiplied is multiplication but this rule is not applicable for subtraction or division now let's see why this is not applicable now consider the number 3 minus 7 so what would you get is minus 4 do, do you think minus 4 is a whole number no now similarly let us see for division what would be the division of 5 and 7 you get 5 by 7 so 5 by 7 is not a whole number so this rule is not applicable for subtraction or division but it is only applicable for addition and multiplication